A stronger economy lies in the hands of the next generation. A new survey ref reflects that belief, where roughly three out of every four Americans said they believe it's important to educate children on finances to ensure a strong economy in the future. A new program helps kids make smarter financial choices. Award-winning actor and best-selling author Hill Harper is here to tell us about it. Good morning, Hill. Hey, good morning, Mary. This program is called the Future Smart Challenge. What is it? Okay, well, the, the Mass Mutual Future Smart Challenge is a, is a, is a partnership between myself and uh, Mass Mutual. And what we've done is we've gone around the country, we've already reached over 10,000 middle schoolers talking about financial literacy. We've done it in conjunction with the NBA, and so we've done it inside of NBA arenas, and anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 uh, eighth graders are there, and I have to do my song and dance to keep them entertained, <laughs> right. but at the same time engage them about being future smart about money. It's never too early to talk to our young people and teach them about making smart decisions about money today and how it impacts their future. And moreover, uh, uh, eighth graders are right at that point where they're educationally and cognitively able to, 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 to know the difference between making a decision right now impacts me five to 10 to 20 years from now. And, and that's so it's perfect time to do that work. I'm curious about how you get and keep their attention because we know they've got all these gadgets and all these bells and whistles everywhere. And here you are talking about financial responsibility to these kids. <laughs> Is it a tough choice for you? It's not easy. It's yeah, not easy. Right. You know, I use humor. I use fun. I make it's high energy. And also, you know, these NBA teams have been great. They've supplied uh, uh, their dunk teams and their dance squads, and we throw out T-shirts, and so we make it a fun thing because actually learning and talking about money should be should be fun and engaging. You know, the problem is is that most of us, including their parents, us, we've been taught the wrong things about money. We've been taught that from my business, the entertainment business, that money is a result and you should chase it rather than the fact that it's just a tool to build a life. We've been taught that that you that there's no difference that a dollar's a dollar's a dollar, but really there's smart money and there's dumb money, mm -hmm. and you know, and how you spend it is in important and what you do and and we've they've also potentially never been taught that there's a direct line between how far you go educationally and what your life earning potential is and really understanding that difference and so there's a lot of things that we cover we hopefully make it cool we have a great time and and uh, it's pretty special so what inspired you to get involved and people say oh he's just an actor you're not you're very well educated um, and then you sort of came into acting a, a little differently than most what inspired you in this case to get involved well, for me, I have a foundation called the Manifest Your Destiny Foundation, and we work primarily with, with underserved communities. And, and I have this thing called being an active architect of your own life, the idea that no matter who you are, where you're from, what race, income level, you can build whatever life you want. And, and, but the main excuse I was getting back coming to me was that I want to do this, but I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. Money, money, money is the number one excuse. People told me when I told them I was going to go to Harvard, oh, you can't afford to go to Harvard. There's no way. You, you, money is not a scapegoat. Money is just a tool. It's, a, but it's, it's something that can become benign in the sense if we use it as a tool correctly. And so I, w I, I think financial literacy is a foundational element for building a life no matter, no matter who you are. And, and so, so I think Mass Mutual read my book, The Wealth Cure. Uh, they said, hey, he's saying exactly what we're saying. So they stepped mm -hmm. up to the plate. And watch this. They, they, they spent a million dollars on this program wow. for the 2014 Mass Mutual Future Smart Challenge. I hope it encourages other corporations to step up similar. We've already reached 10,000 kids. And, and I'll tell you, in Omaha, you guys know something about financial liter literacy. It's the home <laughs> of Warren Buffett. Yes. I mean, if there's, if there's nobody who's, if, he's the number one guy in the world, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, about being smart about your money and, and the way you spend it and how you build uh, financial wealth. And so, so you guys know about that already. Where would you send our viewers online to learn more about this program? Sure, they can go to massmutual.com slash future smart challenge. That's massmutual.com slash future smart challenge. That, that'll show you our curriculum. It shows you what we're teaching. You can teach it at home. And, and also reach out to us. You know, uh, I know there's no NBA team in Omaha, but right. maybe we can come there and do a program with a few thousand eighth graders next year. Uh, and we'll do it somewhere else. I was and just we'll, thinking we'll, that. we'll figure out a way to do it. I was so, just thinking so about that. So reach out to us and we can get there. Let us know if that happens. We'd love to have you here in the studio, Hill. That'd be great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Mike?